Hello there guys and girls, welcome to To Buy or Not To Buy I know this isn't Fallout uh, I know it's meant to be Fallout on Fridays But I felt I didn't want to do Fallout, I felt I didn't feel compelled to do Fallout So I'm going to do To Buy or Not To Buy on Factorio uh, I saw Worth a buy on uh, his channel, did Factoria, and he gave it a worth worth a buy. Uh, yes, um, Factorio is, I'd say, 2D Minecraft without the proper. It's the raw element of Tekkit, if you know what Tekkit is. Tekkit is like quarries and automatic mining and stuff. That's what Factorio is. Factorio is automatic mining. Right there, I just got one bit of coal, but now, let's say, I don't want to uh, mine the coal. I set that up, put some coal in it, and uh, it spews out coal. And then I put that coal in there, and it'll keep spewing out coal. as long as I want it to. Or for as long as it has coal inside of it to do what it needs to do, it will continue. I can't remember how to build things either. Because uh, I have actually played this quite a lot. Um, oh, shit. No. Okay, T is technology. E. E. Okay, E. Okay, so let's build an iron chest. So now, the coal will be deposited into the iron chest. Like that. So now we can go, and let's say we want another automatic miner, so we need iron to build one. Uh, this is iron ore. But you can see that this takes forever. You can see that we don't want to be doing it this way, can't you? So, what do we do? We, we grit our teeth, we bear this, and we build another automatic miner. Now what I'm going to do is because you can destroy things that you've placed and get like that. So I'm gonna get the chest back. And I'm gonna get the automatic miner back. And I'm going to put that there with that there with that in there. That way that will get us iron. That I need to then smelt. So you right click to take half, put half in there. And then we take that, put that in there. Like so. Uh. Would I say this is worth. Well, it's early access. Let's put it that way. It's early access, so... Does this look like a game you want to support? Does this look like a game you want... Of course, I now need stone. Of course. Oh. Yeah, mining machine still mining away over there. Uh, I know this isn't Fallout, by the way. I'm sorry, I just didn't want to do Fallout today. I wasn't in the mood for Fallout. I really wasn't. Uh, and I don't see the point in doing it if I'm not in the mood because I'll just be shit. The commentary will be shit. The gameplay will be shit. And eventually uh, you lot will get bored of seeing me do stuff that I don't want to do. And 
Yeah. Now you may be saying, well, why are you still clicking on that? Because you need to make iron gear wheels that are under there. And you will be right with that. But this game has a, f has a feature where you can click on that where I want to build I want to build a mining drill and it will build a stone furnace then the gear wheel and then the whatever and then it will build the final product once it's built everything else. So look down there it's building the gear wheels and then it builds the mining drill. Now the mining drill can go over there with with the coal. And I just need another iron chest for this. And then what I need to do is I need to just get a bit of coal mined so that I can put the coal in there so that then it will dig the coal itself. That's the first part of our automation. Because now we get all my iron and we're getting all my coal. And I just zoomed out so that I can check on the iron mine. Yep. Uh, it's not got. Well, I'm not going to say it's not got many features, but one of the features that it does have is there. You see the map here. Uh, there are other like natural inhabitants of the world that are scattered throughout the, the map that will that, that don't really like the fact that you're digging up their landscape I mean who would like that now we need another one to be able to get stone but for now let's get some transport belts now, transport belts are exactly what they sound like. They are conveyor belts. Meaning, you can transfer them. I can transfer this. Because when I'm out of range there, that mine isn't actually working, I don't think. So, I can transfer So I can transfer the coal so that I can stay over here with this mine. Because now that won't be working. So, I can transfer the coal over to like here and deposit it into a chest there. So that they both still technically work. Uh huh. It's very. It's it, it's about automation. This game is a lot in automation. I'll give it that. It does automation very well. Uh, later on down the line, you could you saw that we could build a uh, a boiler. That means we can get. Uh, where they gone? Electricity. We can scrap these out for electric things. Uh, let's just get that working. Right, and then we get this. And then that, and then that, and then that, that, that. So we just need to make sure we keep this one stocked so that we can get our coal. Now you may be saying, well how is it going to get in the chest from the conveyor belt? Well that's where the next thing that I'm going to build comes in. Let's build it to there. And let's just take our. Let's yeah, see so now when it spits out coal, it comes along. Now what we need to do is we need to place our chest there. Now you will notice that it's not got us. We get the content. We get the contents back. Now I'm gonna build this thing. Which I can never remember 
which way this place is. Uh, honestly. I think it's that way. And that will take it off the conveyor belt, like so, and put it into our chest. Now, I want to be even more lazy. Because I'm a lazy fuck. We're gonna pick this up. We're gonna steal all the coal out of there so that it doesn't work anymore. We're gonna take that back. And we're just gonna build a few conveyor belts. So maybe to there. Right? Uh, then I need, uh, need to put that back down for a second. Make some more iron plates. Let's just take this and put this in our burner there. You can run along the conveyor belts and it does actually speed you up too. I need two of those. Let's get rid of this tree because this tree's not doing us any good. Let's get in now, we There you go. Right now we steal this. Right, so we get this burner instead of this burner placer. And then we put that there. And then we get the other one that we made. Put that there. And then we get the iron chest. Right, all this needs coal. All this needs power. So I'm just going to give you a little example. That. We'll take the iron put it in the furnace, which will smelt it. Which should then be taken out by that one. And put into... We've automated the iron making process. Yeah. The iron making process is now automated. So now we can sit back, relax, do what we want, while all of our things do the work for us. They go through coal quite slowly because... So as you can see, it's quite easy to uh, automate everything. Uh, I'm only going to show you this little snippet uh, of it, but there is so much more that you can make. Let's just look at our research. Look. You can make splitters, so you can have two con a conveyor belt split into two and go to two different places. You can build steel. You can get better weapons. You can get armor turrets, lights, an assembly machine which essentially you put the parts in and it builds whatever you want it to build for you. What else is there? There's that that allows a steel furnace which can s smelt faster. There's this that allows for better pylons so more electricity can travel further. There's, I don't actually know what that does, sorry. There's railways, you can have railways in this game. There's oil, there's everything you could ever want in this game is here. <sighs> Obviously, right, what you need to do to do research is you A, you need to build this. This is a science lab. This essentially lets you build you, you build your science lab and you choose your research from T. Then you give the science lab these two things, the red one and the green one. So here we can see if I wanted to research logistics to get the splitter, I'd need 15 minutes and 20 of the red ones, which means I'd need to get 20 of those and put them in the science lab for it to research. This thing changes and there's like a progress bar to show you what you're researching. Are you out of coal? No, yeah, not you. You can't keep up, can you? 
Are you full? Something broke. Oh, you were at up. Okay, I don't know why that's doing. Okay, so that's broken. Okay, so you can only put so much in. Okay, so it couldn't actually keep up with that or the stuff that was in there. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can fire. I don't know how I actually did that. Okay, right, well, I shot my phone and it now has health. <laughs> uh, you probably need coal, don't you? Let's just make sure you can continue with that. Right, so that'll be it for this episode. To buy or not to buy? If you can put up with the fact that it's in early access, then by all means buy it. It's not available on Steam yet, but there will be a link down below to their website. You can buy it on there. There's different tiers that you can buy. I think it starts at like 13.99 British pounds. Um, I'd say buy it. I'd say from the fun that I have with this game, I played hours of it. Buy this game. It's automation. It's fun, and it's. It's amazing to see the different things that you can build and the different size production factories that you can that you can create from your own imagination. It's amazing. I say buy it. So, until next time, there will be Fallout next week, I promise. Until next time, definitely buy this game. I cannot heartily recommend it enough if you can put up with the fact that it's early access. So, until next time, please remember to like, comment, rate, favourite and subscribe. And remember, don't try to shove too much iron in your furnace. Don't like it. <laughs>